Lexi and I, our story starts, I think, way before we ever thought it did. My mom was actually a guidance counselor at Lexi's middle school when she was growing up. So one day I went to work with my mom and I met Lexi that day in eighth grade and I didn't really think anything of it. And then years went by. It was like we always had these little instances of our paths crossing. I was smitten by him right away. And I was like, yep, I'm gonna marry that guy. <laughs> I was a cheerleader at Ohio State and Gabe was Brutus Buckeye. Gabe had started having complications with his shoulder. He went to the athletic trainer and then that's kind of when we found out that the separation of the shoulder was now a malignant bone cancer. There's no like real paradigm to prepare a couple or an individual for receiving a cancer diagnosis. So I think at the time, you don't really know how to react because you've never experienced it. Getting that and that being like the kickoff milestone to occurring right before Lexi graduated or I was getting ready to graduate the next semester and that, that sort of being like a, an immediate pushback to what we always dreamt graduating college would be like our senior year of college wasn't an ideal situation, but I guess looking back on it was kind of a situation we w I wouldn't change. So Gabe had a reoccurrence in February of 2021. 20, and that week after, I was supposed to go dress shopping. I said, Gabe, like, like, should we just take this day by day? No, Lexi, like, you're gonna go try on some wedding dresses. I remember my first diagnosis and all the way to my second diagnosis and through treatment and recovery, is you're always, as a cancer patient, I feel like longing for normalcy and you wanna hold on to that normalcy for as long as you possibly can. And I think that's why I was so hard pressed on making sure that she continued with, I mean, what should be one of the most special days of our lives. When the day finally came, it's just, you block all the horrible things that have ever happened to us and it is that huge milestone that we were able to conquer together. When you have cancer, I mean, every day is awesome, right? Afterwards, you're just happy to be alive, but when you hit those those extremely memorable moments, you can't exchange that for anything, that feeling of being being alive for your wedding. Like, I, I was there, I got to do it, it was pretty awesome. As a member of the AYA community, and I think being a part of Ohio State and Next Gen and Mac and Cheese Fest and all the above is is such a monumental environment to be in. Mac and Cheese Fest is sort of the, the pinnacle or the milestone of fundraising within the city of Columbus, specifically for Ohio State AYA programs. So I think for us, there, there's no other event, there's no other day that's more important for us. The beautiful thing about this whole journey and Gabe's cancer journey is everything that we've been led to, whether that's the community of the James or Next Gen or fundraising and the people that you meet or the support system that you have. I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but it really is such a family and a community. And that's what's really kind of cool about the whole process.